When is the last time that you cleaned your fridge? It has been a while for me, and if you need some inspiration, then this is the video for you. I've been so inspired by all the Instagram and Pinterest posts I've been seeing on fridge organization. So I thought I'd go ahead and organize my fridge and start fresh and bring you along and hopefully give you some inspiration. Okay, so one of the first steps you wanna do when you are planning on organizing your fridge is kind of get a basic layout of your fridge and the measurements. I did a rough sketch, something like this not an artist, but just gave me a good idea of each shelf's measurements. And then I also just took a quick picture of this. So I had it on my phone when I was out shopping for different organizers. So that's one of the first things you wanna do is kind of have those measurements in the back of your head before you go out and go shopping. The other thing is kind of get an idea of what items you have the most of. For me, I'm a big condiment person. I love all the hot sauces. How do you do it? Frank's red hot sauce. I put that on everything. <laughs> sauces on everything basically. So for me, I really wanted to find something that would help keep those items really neat and tidy because I found they were just making my fridge look really cluttered. So another thing that I've been really working towards is moving all of my food storage into glass containers. So a while back, I kind of got rid of all the plastic food storage and moved into all glass containers and also utilizing jars. This is a big trend you'll see on social media of all the different jar organizations and using jars for meal prep. And I just love the way this looks. It really utilizes space in the fridge really well. And so another great idea is to check out any refill stores if you have one in your area or check one out online. You can find some really great jars. You can use canning jars as well. And then you can swap out the lids, which is something that I always do. I do like the lids that also have a hinge. I find those look really pretty as well. But I swap out my lids for a plastic twist top. And you can find these in classic regular jar mouth lid as well as wide mouth lid and they come in various different colors. I went with black this time. I had white before so I went with black this time and you can also find ones that have little spouts like there's so many different options and this is a really great way to recycle jars and then keep your food safe in glass containment. All right so next you're going to want to clean your fridge. Woohoo the fun part. So you take out all of your items out of the fridge. If you have a lot of perishables you could put them in a cooler. Uh, a great time to do this is before you go out for a big grocery shop as well, so you're not having to keep everything out. You can see in the video, I do a really pathetic, just kind of spray and wipe, but that was not the case. I wish I would have filmed what was lurking behind those drawers. I ended up unscrewing all of the drawers and all the condiment rack on the door and pulling everything out, and it was like a horror movie. It was disgusting under there. So it was definitely required and needed. So it was a good time to do it. So taking everything out, washing everything down and driving everything off and putting it back in the fridge. Okay, so now it's time to place all your organizers in your fridge and kind of get a good layout of how you'd like everything to be set out. And do not take those labels off of those containers yet because chances are you will be returning some. And I really wanna encourage you to not stuff the fridge completely full with containers and dividers reality is, is you're going to need space for all your groceries. You're not going to be consistently chopping everything up and prepping everything and putting them away in the containers. Like hopefully you're gonna be doing that a majority of the time, but the reality is there's gonna be times that you need room for other things. So I encourage you not to keep too many. And if you wanna add some later on, you always can do that. Just leave yourself spaces for other items. So like I was saying earlier, the Lazy Susans are awesome for any types of condiments. What I found works best is using some little like sticker rubber feet on the bottom of them because once they get weighted down with the weight of the jars. They tend not to like spin as nicely on the glass. So using a few of those all over just like totally did the trick. So that was great. I grabbed two different sizes. I grabbed one for my bottom drawer. So with all like the bigger like pickle jars and all that. And then another one for all the hot sauces. So now it's time to wash all your containers. I encourage you not to put them into the dishwasher. They will kind of bend and distort. So just wash them by hand. I made this mistake with the egg container and it just bent it. It's super annoying. And so then you'll just put them in some soapy water. And this also helps take off all those annoying labels. Like why do they use those stupid sticker labels? They should all be vinyl. The ones that just come off like 
super clean. But nope, they're all those sticker ones. So soak them for 15 minutes. That will take off that initial layer. And then you can use an essential oil, like orange essential oil works really well to take off that sticky residue that's left on all the containers. Or another option that you can just make at home really easily is using some oil and some baking soda. So you'll use equal parts of those and then you'll put that paste onto the residue and then use like a plastic scrubby um, sponge to just kind of remove that residue. And then you'll just kind of rinse them again with some soapy water to get them all nice and clean again. And now it'll be time to prep your food. So I grabbed a few of these really great containers that have like a strainer built in them already. So I thought these would be excellent for lettuce, having that always prepped in the fridge and then also to have some type of fruit that's more delicate. Um, so like berries or grapes that you don't wanna be kind of moving around a lot in jars or containers. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those. So just wash my lettuce, cut it up and keep it in there. Stores really nicely. And then some berries or grapes that are really easy to just grab and go when you're snacking. And then I've also cut up some veggies to prep. So I've done some celery, some radishes and carrots, and all three of these work really well if you store them in water. So you can actually store the celery and the radishes up to two weeks in water and the carrots up to a month, which is crazy. So I've also cut up some kale to put in a jar. And then I also have done some asparagus in a jar and just added a little bit of water at the bottom. So they're all ready to roll. So once I'm done doing all my veggies and fruits, so they're easy to grab as snacks or throw into meals for meal prep, then I move on to the meat. So I've marinated a couple of meats as well. Um, just so they're just easy to grab to throw in the air fryer for lunches. This air fryer, mm -hmm. this alien magic that cooks your food now. Really? Dude. Yeah. Or just so they're easy to go and ready for dinner. With the meats, I would recommend, if you're not gonna be using them right away, just throw a little expiry label on there so you know. So then all your drink storage, we go through a lot of sparkling waters. So I've grabbed a couple of these. I could just grab the standard size. You can grab separate ones that are for water bottles and for like the skinny cans as well. But I just found that I would use one at the bottom for just like our regular cans. And then the one at the top, I've just taken the lid off. So then that way I can store the skinny cans when I have them. And then when I don't, I can use them for the regular type cans. You can also find some really great options for holding things like wine bottles. There's so many different creative ideas for storage and it just makes the fridge look really clean and nice and like you're shopping in your own house. I am really loving this jar thing. I think I'm gonna start using it more and more for meal prepping. It's just so fast and easy. Some of the things I didn't show in my prepping video is kind of those off cuts of my celery and carrots that didn't fit into the bigger jars for water. I put them into some smaller jars for some easy grab to go snacks. So I've got those the side there and then I also did a couple jars of some fruits as well so they're just easy to grab and throw into parfait or into a smoothie or just eat them as is. So these are just easy even with the veggies you can throw a little dip or hummus in the bottom so they're just ready to roll. It really encourages you to eat healthy and that's the whole thing with this fridge clean. It's not just a fridge clean and organization. This really helps you to waste less food. You see everything that you have, everything's prepared and ready to roll. So it just really encourages you to eat well and healthy. And it just makes meal prepping so much easier because you have a few items that are just prepared for you. And yeah, it just feels good. Really loving these Lazy Susans. They look so good, easy to grab everything. And as you can see behind some of the jars, I've left some space just for other groceries as they come in. Same within my drawers, I've left some spaces there. So in the top drawer, you can see I've got my two strainer storage containers. So the lettuce and the berries, and then some space there for extras. And then my bottom drawer there has all my meats and dairy. So I've got a couple containers that I've prepped with meats that are marinated and ready to roll. And then my others on the side there. And then from here, you just kind of keep in that roll of like, as soon as you get groceries, like do some prep and put them away beautifully. Ah, fresh fridge looking good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this encouraged you to clean your fridge. Let me know down below if you did, what type of organizers you use, any meal prep ideas that you've got, any kind of storage ideas for those jars. I'm really into that. And yeah, I think I might do my pantry next. So 
stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much again and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I'd love to have you here as well as hit that bell because it'll give you that notification for my next video. Well, I'll see you next time. Happy organizing.